All right, here we go. This is my doghouse, smokehouse slash winter plant holder. And this is my rocket stove boiler system that I just installed. And uh, down there's the coals and uh, sucks it down that little pipe down inside there. Working pretty good. Got this lid for it here. Oh, that's ranky dink. I know. It uh, it's just a uh, very little exhaust gas is coming out. It's been burning for about 12, 14 hours. Pipes come in here. This is where we winter the plants at. Got some exotics in here that you gotta stay warm. That's what I've been using. Cost me about ten dollars a month. And here's the new radiator. And I got a little computer fan on the back of it right now. I'm uh, thinking about getting a bigger fan because uh, it'll uh, put out more heat if I got a bigger fan. And there's my lines going out the wall. Right now, this is what I got set up from the water circulation. That water gets smoking hot pretty, and that little pump just ain't gonna cut it very long. But uh, what do you expect for twenty dollars? So there's my little radiator out of a Ford Ranger, brand new though. And power supply for the 12 volt fan on the back. And uh, it puts out some pretty good heat. Not a film photographer, a different camera. So, anyhow, works pretty good. Gonna get a therm, uh, uh, yeah, thermometer to put in there so you can see what temperature is. But uh, this pot here is pretty, pretty cool. It's an old helium tank. That's the prototype. I had a laydown model and it it worked okay. But uh, I wanted to try this way because everybody else just loads theirs from the top. So, there we go. Working pretty good. Sucks it down the little pipe pretty good. All right, that's that one. That's the experimental one. Now up here, we've got the other one. Now this one is in the building stage. The barrel just starting to turn colors because the cans of Dr. Pepper on top are uh, smoking and uh, this is just temporary right now this is where my fire pit is it's just temporary and it, you can see it's sucking it right down inside there like it's supposed to plan on getting a uh, like a 30 gallon 30 gallon uh, metal barrel and I'm going to cut the bottom out cut the top off and hinge the top and uh, that way I can just pull the whole thing out and clean the ashes out uh, you know a couple times a week and or a month or whatever and uh, see how it goes dig my hole a little deeper so the ash pit will be deeper than the uh, fire and uh, gonna have uh, copper pipe in the top of the barrel there's the exhaust I scan back here a little bit and there's the whole setup um, once I get the other barrel all you'll see is uh, a small barrel, a big barrel, and the pipe sticking up out of the ground. Everything else will be underground. I'll run the water lines underneath the ground, over to here, and into the house. So, trying to get the house warmer this winter. North Carolina gets cold. Not as cold as 
Colorado or Vermont or all them places, but it gets cold. We get $700 electric bills. That's why we want to cut down them $700 electric bills. But look at it, it just sucks that fire right in there. Yeah, yeah. It's going to work out pretty good. It's going to work out pretty good. All right, like I said, the hole's temporary. Barrels in place. Gonna get the copper pipe soon. Got the exhaust pipe. Gonna make that taller, just so it's more up out of your face. Yeah. Barrel, barrel, really starting to smoke. It was hot. So this is just play. Anyhow, heat my house with uh, scrap firewood. Thanks for watching.